Hello everyone, welcome to Techies on Wheel. Uh, today we'll be look around uh, the introduction to RPA. We would cover what is RPA. We'll understand it with the help of some example, and then we'll see around what are the basic rules using which we can identify whether the process is good fit for RPA or not. Uh, we'll also have a um, sneak on to the high level RPA benefits, and then we will discuss what we uh, what will be covered in the next session. Let's get started. Let's understand this so word or uh, this term RPA word by word. So RPA compromises of three words. One is robotic process, uh, and the third is automation. Robotic uh, means at, it's an entity which is capable of mimicking human actions like any robot. Uh, process means that there are a sequence of steps you're performing to achieve a specific set of action, uh, set of action you're performing to achieve a goal. Um, so if you say downloading a report from the website, so you log into a website, so navigate to a specific page and download a report. So that's a process of report download. And uh, these are the steps you're performing to achieve that goal. Third is automation, which means that the task is being done on its own without human intervention. However, that these three terms when combined, robotic process automation means that you are writing a set of code uh, to perform a set of actions uh, which human was doing on its own with the help of some entity, which is capable of uh, helping you achieve these uh, actions in the way human does. Now, when we talk about robotic, it's uh, it's not a physical robot. Um, it's a code. Uh, it's a, a code which uh, is helping you achieve the actions of human. So that's one uh, thing which has to be very clear. Let's understand what this entity can be. So this entity could be any of the RPA tool. Few of the naming uh, market leading tools are automation anywhere, UiPath, Blue Prism, etc. Uh, there are many more. You can explore onto your own. Then the process can be set of business rules which uh, and the sequence of steps which uh, a human performs to achieve a, a um, set of a, any specific uh, uh, perform any specific uh, action. Then the third is automation, which itself means that the code which you have written or with, with the use of any of the RP tool can run on its own without human intervention. So altogether, you are uh, you are building a bot. Now this. Uh, term what is very generic and you will keep on hearing onto our next uh, um, session or any in the RPA world. So this what is nothing but a set of code which you have written to achieve your uh, uh, set uh, achieve your goal with the help of any of the RPA tool. Let's understand this with the help of example. Say there is a process where uh, the agent has to log in every day four o'clock to a specific portal, download a report from that portal and send it over email to a specific set of people. Um, so what is the task here? The task here is to download the report. What are the set of action human is doing here to achieve this goal? Um, so first step, uh, agent is logging to a web portal at a specific time on daily basis, say four o'clock here. It's navigating to a specific page onto the portal uh, from where uh, the uh, agent downloads the report and save the file onto the uh, system and then send that particular file to a specific set of people over email. Uh, now, as you could see, these are straight through steps. And then as an RP developer, once uh, write the code to achieve each and every one of the step uh, using any of the RPA tool, once the entire, uh, all the steps are uh, uh, coded all together, it is uh, referred to as a bot and then your bot is ready for use. You can just trigger your bot and it will perform all set of action which a human was doing on its own without any intervention of a human. Um, so the three things which uh, we have seen here, which helped us identify whether the process was good fit for automation or not, was that the entire process was rule-based. It was repetitive. Your agent was performing the same activity every day at four o'clock and it was digital. When I say digital, it means that everything was being done on the system itself. It, nothing was being done physically. Uh, it, it was repetitive means that uh, the specific set of action has to be done on periodic basis, be it be daily, weekly, uh, bi-weekly, or uh, daily twice. Uh, reason that uh, it's not to, uh, it's not to good that you spend a specific set of time to write a code which uh, which is of no use uh, uh, once uh, run. So instead of wasting a time writing the code 
for the process, which is only one time activity, you can actually perform that, uh, uh, that uh, action at that set of time. Um, so it's always good that uh, we should automate the process, which is repetitive. Uh, and the third one is that it should be rule based, which means the specific set of rules should uh, be a uh, business rule should be tied up to specific uh, steps, which is being performed by the board. So in the previous example, if say uh, the report was not available at four o'clock, then what the board should do, whether the board should wait for five minutes or it should uh, uh, drop an exception email or an information email to a specific set of people that report is still not available. So there is a decision making involved to each and every step. However, if there is something fuzzy involved around, like a human has to take decision on its own if report is available or not available. So that is something what is not intelligent to take a decision on its own. You have to specify that if condition A, then you have to do B. If condition C, then you have to do condition D. So that is something which is uh, uh, the three things which uh, helps you identify on the basic level whether the process is good fit for automation or not. Uh, the evident benefits we could see here is that the uh, agent now no longer uh, ha has to log in at sharp a specific time like four o'clock every day uh, just to download the report and uh, it saves the time performing the same repetitive action which doesn't require actually a human intelligence uh, so it saves time for some uh, something more important that a human can actually do which uh, actually require human intelligence so these are few uh, common evident benefits of rpa on to the next session, we will also cover some common queries and uh, uh, buzzes and myths around RPA. Uh, one, of the, one of them are that the RPA is here to take job of people. No, it's not uh, the way. Uh, we should look uh, around that RPA is here to help people uh, uh, and free people from the boring and repetitive task, which doesn't actually require human intelligence. And human can actually do something which they, are, uh, they should be doing. Um, so we'll be covering uh, related a uh, few queries and common myths and questions related to RPA. Uh, till then, stay happy, stay healthy, uh, be safe, uh, happy learning. Thank you, everyone.